Hey, I'm Decathlon Long Gamer, and welcome back to Draft Day Sports College Basketball. This is episode number 51. Uh, first off, this episode and the next, uh, bad news, zero audio file. Ab absolutely none whatsoever. Uh, Windows Update has some cruel tendencies every once in a while. Uh, I'm, I'm sure most of you have experienced it in some form or another. Both my audio program and my OBS, my recording software, both of their audio settings were completely wiped out after I completed an update. I caught the audio one. I fixed that one right away before recording. I did not catch the OBS issue until after I had recorded four episodes, including episode 51 here and the next episode, 52. So what you are seeing right now is a face cam covering the previous face cam as I am re-recording audio for this, which feels a little awkward. It's, it's one thing to experience it live. It's one thing to re-experience it a second time around and record that voiceover. So things might be a little more sped up this time. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, as like I said, it does feel a little strange to try to recreate that. I'm certainly not an actor or anything. Anyway, after a hot start, the game has closed back up at the midway point of the first half, and the game that we're experiencing here is against Delaware. Now, Delaware was one of the lower-ranked teams in the conference, but they made a, a run. This is the conference tournament, and it is the final. So we are into the championship game for Conference P. Winner claims the championship. Now, we had the regular season record, but for the last few years, I think two out of three years, we've had the best record. Or maybe it was only one out of three. But we have not won a conference championship the last few years. So we are very much looking for it here. And after that hot start, shooting has started to become a real issue for the team here. We've got a lot of work to do in this one, as we are now three quarters of the way through the first half and on just a slender three-point lead. Uh, now, here's the other thing about the awkwardness of trying to redo this game. Uh, I do not get a full screen viewpoint of the playback on my video, so it is occupying <laughs> about a fifth of not even my primary screen, but my secondary screen. Uh, as my editing, my Adobe Premiere Pro is occupying the majority and, and it doesn't work very well on, on attempting to do full screen playback. So here we are. <laughs> uh, I cannot really read the text when it's this small, the, the finer print, the, the smaller font of player stats and whatnot. So it's going to be really hard to recap that. I think I can just about make out the uh, the team stats. So we will be reviewing those from time to time here. Shortly before halftime, slight stretch to the lead, six-point advantage, now eight-point advantage as Lindquist makes that shot. Uh, we've got ourselves a little bit of momentum going right now. It's not much, but we'll, we'll take it. Ten-point lead here approaching half. Definitely making a nice little run, but a big three-pointer there from Dove uh, closes that gap a little bit with a minute 20 to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I was planning on burning that timeout, but can't get it in there. You know, you always get that one extra timeout that you lose entering the second half. You start with a full, you start with uh, two 30s. It's three 30s. And if you don't use any of them, you start the second half with one full and two thirties. So, uh, you know, consistently trying to find a good moment in the first half to use just a single 30 second timeout and save the rest for the second half. Now in real life, I get two fulls and, and three thirties as a coach. And you better believe I, I use those five timeouts, uh, almost every game. Big momentum here as we are starting the second half though, we were momentarily over 10 back there as Evans gets a score, and it is 39-28. So we've you know opened shortly before the first half this 10-point lead. Let's see how long we can hang on to that here. We definitely have some momentum uh, favoring us at the moment. In terms of those team stats, we're behind on, on the rebounds department. Uh, 
quite a ways behind on the rebounds department. But turnovers, huge, huge advantage. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm reading that we have two. We have thirteen. So a massive, massive plus eleven. We have committed seven steals already in this game. But they're trying to close it back in on us. Hyde gets a couple of free throws there and it's uh, no, actually gets one of two and makes it an eight point game. Difficult angle there, but we get the ball back and turn it over. But defensively, making plenty of stops. Offensively is the issue, just 34% from the field, while they are 44% from the field. And the gap continues to close. Now it's a six-point game. Yeah, <laughs> three-pointer there, and we've got ourselves a three-point game. It's within a single score. Another miss from the elbow. That is plenty close enough. And there, it's not like time is wearing down. We do finally get a make, but it is after yet another miss on what appears to be an open shot from the opposite elbow. Lindquist gets put, out, put back from the block, but we are struggling to score right now. Really struggling. Shooting has not been our friend. And you know what? This is what happened last year. We were up big, and then we couldn't make a shot. Couldn't make a shot. Couldn't make a shot. Couldn't make a shot. Over. And over and over again, we were missing our shots down the stretch in the championship game and ultimately lost to a team that we should have beaten comfortably. And that's what we have here. We have a team we should be beating comfortably, but we are just missing and missing and missing. Free throws from Alexander put the lead back to four, but this is getting tight, getting nervous about what we're doing here because a foul there, which, by the way, just four apiece per team, uh, as we're approaching the midway point of the second half. So we're in good condition here. But the make there, we've got ourselves a tie game. We do get the three-pointer at the other end from Houston. Rare make from him. But they immediately answer back with a field goal of their own to cut the lead to one. They have made their way back into this game. Evans, good defense and the rebound. Looked like we had the open corner, but we couldn't get it there in time. Defense, their zone is really covering the space well. And we ultimately time out without even getting a shot off their ball. And the make there from Sampson, and we trail. First deficit for the whole game? We haven't, we haven't trailed all game long. We played more than three quarters of this game, leading since the first basket. No longer, no longer, and we still are struggling to score. Evans, long range two there, does convert. First field goal in a while for us. The last one we had was Houston's three pointer at probably the 11 minute mark. I mean, it, you know, that was five minutes ago. Fast break, transition bu bucket from Hyde. Huge, we needed that one. Three-point lead, five and a half to play. That gave us some momentum. And it turns into Hyde getting another, essentially, transition bucket early, early in the shot clock. Sets up for the three, and Houston makes the field goal, and it's 57-49. I made one little change. I have made that change. We were struggling to shoot. We were shooting horribly from three. We were shooting horribly from the field, 30%. I switched our offense to favor inside a few minutes ago. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's 62-49. It's 62-49. It was 49-48 when I made that change. Now it's 62-49. So we are on a 14-0 run since I made that offensive tweak. And they have not scored since. So not only has it translated into us getting more inside shots, but by working the ball inside, it's also stretching. It's leaving space on the outside as their defense is collapsing down, which has turned into some open looks at three. 
and we're actually converting those. 66.49 now as we've added four more points and we have one minute left to go. We have pulled away. It's suddenly comfortable. Can we keep up the the defensive stop? This would you know amount to zero points for the last six minutes. That remains 14 seconds left. 10 seconds left. The miss there. They get a chance and they miss. Final score 66-49. And yes, they did not score a single point in the last five and a half minutes of this game. And we went on an 18-0 run to end this game as soon as I made that little adjustment on offense. That was huge. And we are conference champions for the fourth time in our history, of course, the first and only time at this conference level, but never mind that part, we're climbing a ladder, a ladder that we will continue to climb, and we are now NCAA playoff bound. Rebounding, we caught up a little bit, but when you're missing offensive shots and defensive rebounds is the primary, of course you're going to give that up, especially if you're forcing a lot of steals. You're not getting rebounds, defensive rebounds at those moments. On to the selection show. Usually there's that background music, but again, no audio here. But we will get into it. Let's see where we end up. I have a feeling we're going to have a much better seed this year. Had a feeling. Past tense, obviously, now. Uh, first one seed goes to Michigan State. And we are not in that first bracket. I would definitely predict that we're going to be higher. Uh, my prediction was 10 to 12 before seeing this. Of course, I know where I ended up, but... Uh, first bracket is set. We're not in that one. But I do think there's a pretty good chance that we could have a, a higher seed this year than what we've had in past years. We've got that conference championship. We're looking good. Cincinnati gets the one seed here. New Mexico, a two seed. Interesting selections, not teams you would normally pick at the top. Mississippi State, Baylor. There we are, a six seed. Wow, a six seed. Against Western Kentucky, the 11 seed. And not even a great record from Western Kentucky. So we're looking really good on that one. I, I did not expect to get a seed this high. I knew we were going to flirt with, you know, a middle seed. Maybe a nine. Uh, that felt like a stretch. An eight, getting our first advantage in the first round, felt like a huge stretch. But getting a six seed... Massive. Absolutely massive. Oh, <laughs> let's throw this one in there. Number 21 Olympic decathlon at 25 and 5. Yeah, after the tournament run, we find ourselves ranked. We have cracked the top 25 rankings. So we are making new ground this season. So we enter the tournament as a first round favorite. We enter the tournament as a ranked team. So excited. So excited. And then looking at our bracket, this is not the hardest bracket you're going to see. Not even close to it. Cincinnati, New Mexico, Mississippi State. These aren't... They're teams that are regularly in the tournament, but they're teams that are regularly, you know, four, five, six, seven seeds. Not one, two, three seeds. So this is a huge opportunity I'm not saying we're going to beat Mississippi State. I'm not saying we're going to beat New Mexico. I'm saying we should beat Western Kentucky, right? We are the 6 seed. They're the 11. No guarantees there either. Uh, we'll have to see how they are. But I'm liking that there's at least a chance at winning some of these games. Because A, we're coming in more respected, higher seed. They, they think we're going to be good. But B, as Texas gets the next one seed, the opposition isn't the usual dominant suspects. I, f I feel like we've got a bracket that is manageable. Better percentage chance than what we normally have. Final one seed goes to Memphis. See, so, you know, look at this one. You're outside of Temple. You know, th three of those four seeds look better than what we have. You know, Cincinnati equivalent to Colorado or maybe Kansas State. 
definitely not on the same level as these guys. They're having a great season, but I just I like the bracket we're in. The matchups look favorable. Let's see what we can do though. Here's how we compare with Western Kentucky, the scouting report. We are 25 and 5, 14 and 2 in conference and ranked 21st in the nation. Western Kentucky just 18 and 11. 10 and 6 in their conference. I do not recall which conference they are from. I don't see it here. It wasn't it didn't make it into my edit. So I, I couldn't tell you exactly where they were from, but they're definitely from a higher level. But how high? Uh, it's it's not one of the top top tiers. Maybe as high as Conference D, but I think it might have been a little bit lower. They've had plenty of top 25 matchups this season, though. Seven, including us, so six other matchups. And they've done decent. Three and three against top 25 opponents suggests that, you know, you're looking at a fairly solid team. Arizona, way over their heads, though. So this is a limited team. I mean, they, they got doubled up by Arizona. They somehow, according to the scouting report, are the favorites. And five position matchups, <laughs> even across the board. And then they've got the stronger bench. Now, looking at the offensive defensive stats, well, we certainly look like the team that's had the better year. I think the records kind of back that up. But let's go ahead and get to the tournament. Let's see. Can we live up to the seeding, or will the scouting report reign true? NCAA first round action underway against Western Kentucky. There's no you know home court or anything like that. It's neutral territory, so we don't gain any advantage for getting that six seed. But we'll see. We'll see how we perform. This is that first time that we've been in that front end spot. More than a minute played, and neither team scores, but they do finally get a play inside in the paint and score from close. It's 2 nothing now 4 nothing. Not a great start for us. They've got themselves a little bit of momentum as well, but we get a steal transition bucket for Houston with the layup or the dunk close, and that cuts the lead in half. Three minutes played, and a big three there. Not a great start. Down by five. Another turnover. Technically, we've only had two, and they've had three. Our turnovers have been unforced. They have no steals. They just got their first block of the game, and we still just two points, four minutes played. Slow start. Really slow start today. Field goals. Not looking good. One of seven. Another turnover. Now 9-2. Quick pull-up jumper in transition. Settling for a long two there. Seabrooks, foot on the line. Does finally convert. It's 9-4. Luckily, they missed that one as that was a free throw attempt, essentially. Nobody on him from the free throw line. Pull-up jumper. And Howell scores now 9-6. Finally, the offense starting to wake up a little bit. Fortunately, the defense has been good. They are 4 of 7, but we've had 10 attempts. So we are not giving them a lot of looks. But turnovers, only one. Only one in our favor. But half of our turnovers have been just throwing the ball away. We're going to go ahead and switch to that favor inside as we are, again, not shooting well. well. Let's see what happens. Very first possession after the change, we've cut the lead in half. 11-9, still fairly early in the game, but shooting. Shooting's been a problem, and that favor inside worked so well in that last game. I want to see what it kind of does for us here. Another move that allows the inside shot, but a miss. Defense really helping keep us in the game. And Lindquist with the outside three. That's the thing. You, you go to that favor inside, and it ends up leaving a little more space for those outside shooters. And Howell scores. We've, we've already doubled our point total since making the change. We played seven or eight minutes. 
and then we played a few minutes and doubled our score and continue to score and now we're pulling away it's 19 11 also have they scored i don't think they've scored since we made that change it's funny how our defense kind of catches on to what's going on offensively and now it's 21 to 11 24 to 11 houston with the three-pointer and again those three-pointers that's that's the funny thing about the favor inside seabrook scores we're, we're scoring on almost every possession right now It's a, what, 20 run, a 20 run, something along those lines. They can't even finish in close. Evans contesting the shot and then getting the rebound. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Rebounds, minus one. Turnovers, plus four. That's starting to go in our favor. Also, that shooting percentage has gone from... Just over 10% to now 43% already. 9 of 21 shooting. 5 of 7 from free throw line, and they have not even had a free throw attempt. Yes, we have committed 5 fouls, but they've committed 8, and there's only 4.5 to go here in the first half. They do finally get a couple of scores going, uh, and we've cooled off a little bit, but Doug Hyde makes that 3-pointer to re-spark the offense. Keep things moving. Wide open 3 Slightly long range. That's certainly not a Lillard logo type place, but uh, it was an NBA three anyway. 29-15. Now 29-17. Still looking good. 12-point lead. The momentum has faded. We're, we're certainly back to, I'd say, neutral as McMillian drains that three. Puts the lead back up to 15 And we turned this thing in a hurry, didn't didn't we? 34-17 now. They've only scored seven points in the last 12 minutes since making the change. And we have 30. Another miss. Defensive stop after defensive stop. And we are literally double their score right now at 36-18. Not a great shot attempt on that one. Long range to under duress. Oh, good defense. Excellent defense there. And clock runs out on the first half, but it's 36-20. Excellent, excellent first half here. And we are looking rather comfortable to see if we can get out of this first round, especially considering the slow start and the big advantage we have. Alexander? Player of the game so far in his 10 minutes. 2 for 3 shooting. 3 for 4 on the free throws. He's already got 7 points. He's already got 4 rebounds. He's already got 3 assists. Personal fouls. Hyde. Evans. Each have 2. That's one thing we'll have to watch out for. They've committed... Well, they've committed 3 quarters of the team fouls that we had in that first half. Hyde only playing 6 minutes as a result. Second half underway. 16 point advantage and see if we can hang on to it quick score from evans great feed inside still fairly pretty much in transition that was an outside corner just throwing that in well not outside corner but from the wing eyed with a three-pointer there Get scoring underway here in this second half. Actually, that's not even... That's our second score already. 5-0 run here in the first couple of minutes of the half. Coming out strong. Evans adding another score. Now 7-0 run to open the half. Three free throws, but he can only convert two. And we have four fouls. In the first three minutes of the half. We only had six in the entire first half. And now we have a fifth foul. Just three and a half minutes in. Ouch on that part. And back-to-back -back threes. And the game is suddenly a 10. Well, 20-point game. 20. <laughs> Phew. I thought that was 10. 
It's nice that we're counting by tens, though, I suppose. That they start to cut into that lead a little bit with a couple big possessions as we had really started to open it up here early in the second half. Five minutes played, and then gap cuts down a little bit further. It's now 17, or 14 and a half minutes left. And, of course, we've got six fouls, and they have zero. Big concern on that part is that the lead gets smaller. 14. 14 now. We've already used a 30-second timeout here in this half. I'm trying to stop the momentum. I, I feel it. I sense it. Now it's 11. Hyde with a couple free throws, but we are right back to being completely incapable of scoring. Back-to-back -back fouls, back-to-back -back trips to the free throw line. Lindquist this time making both. But it's only an 11-point game. We've gone from 25 down to 11 in a matter of about five or six minutes. Slow it down. Get control of this game. Defense making a stop there with the turnover. How are those stats doing, especially since I can see those better than the player stats? It is just minus three on rebounds. 40% from the field. So it has fallen off a little bit, but they're only 37% from the field. In terms of turnovers, plus seven. We have nine steals in this game, but they have eight blocks. Lead is 13. A half to go. Half of a half. I would like it if college switched to quarters. Everybody else does it. Everybody else does it. And the women's game does it in college. It's just the men's. Men's college basketball is the only place in the U.S. where you see halves in basketball. Anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a, at least a few states. Most states are on quarters. Ten-point game, eight to play. Bad defense there. They find the man down on the low block with his man sealed out, and he converts. But luckily, we go down to the other end and score right away. But then we foul yet again. Just our seventh, though. So where we were at 6-0 to open the half, we did settle things down. That was just our seventh foul. They had committed four since our last one. And Williamson with a massive score there. Huge, huge timing on that one. Lead back to 12. Seven minutes to play. They've definitely made me nervous here as we looked like we were going to cruise. But, you know, we're, we're on the verge of single digits. Long range three. That would have cut it to seven. Switch to the opposite corner. We intercept. But cannot convert. And then they do eventually convert down low on the next possession. Then we turn it over real quick and then foul at the hoop. Fortunately, he only makes one of two, but they get the offensive rebound. Beat the man. Can't score in close, but it's a seven-point game. Hyde scores short range. 64-54. Five to play. Come on, you guys. Come on. Don't beat this team. Don't beat this team. Don't give up a 25-point lead and lose. Lead at nine. Four and a half to play. Long range three. Evans with the rebound. <laughs> corner to corner with three defenders in between you. And the corner that you're throwing it to is marked tightly. It's not even space. Not even an open player. Of course that's going to get picked off. Kid in elementary school can tell you that's probably going to get picked off. Hyde scores. Back to double digits. They turn the ball over early in the possession, fortunately for us. Coming up on three minutes to play. Side out. Five seconds left in the shot clock. Turn it over. You're 10 for 20 from three-point range. That is the main difference in this game. Other than the fact that free throws are similar, but we are plus four in makes. Two and a half to play. Still an 11-point lead. Now nine. We've been hovering around that 10-point lead mark 
for quite some time after you know they made that very quick run where we went from you know stretching to as much as I think it was 25 points to suddenly it was down to about 10 to 12 points and then yeah we've been hovering around 10 ever since can we keep it there till the end of the game minute 40 now it's looking more and more likely but a very quick transition layup or dunk there we can't stop it but now they're going to commit two fouls they send us to the line that was a one in one but we miss eight point game eight seven on the team fouls right now automatic foul this time seabrooks gets two makes two after the one and one so he got a second chance at it but then we foul them come on it's the last thing you want to do houston makes two again lead to 10 free throws cementing the win here under 30 seconds nine fouls now so next will be double bonus and this time they're not doing the intentional foul they do eventually foul evans they get the ball into a, the hands of a weaker shooter but he makes both anyway they make the three at the end but it only cuts the lead to seven and that is a win 76 69 they made that thing scary they definitely made it scary it went from super comfortable early in the second half to uh youch but we never let them get within i think five i think that's the closest they got there in that second half uh very very briefly we answered it immediately otherwise the closest we got is right about where we're at right now final score 76 69 and that was with a last second probably uncontested three-pointer team got the job done definitely struggled turnovers the advantage less than it was just plus four they went from very few steals to quite a bit they went from eight blocks to nine but they're you know they went from like four to ten steals down the stretch their defense really really stepped it up free throws big difference 20 for 24 we almost doubled their made free throws no more three-pointer attempts down the stretch i can't tell you what the players did on an individual basis you'll have to glance at that one yourself to kind of see where they are at as i just can't read it but big turn when we switch to the favor inside uh not sure why i didn't switch back out when things started to turn but we seem to be doing better on favor inside than we are on neutral this team this makeup the way they're built and it makes sense think about it who are our best players three post guys it's evans it's lindquist it's alexander they've been our most consistent performers all season long so you start favoring inside you get to a dangerous inside post player and what's that going to do one those guys shoot at a much higher percentage and they're going to convert more baskets you can see here alexander off the bench 12 points Hyde, 15 points okay he's not one of those inside guys but what happens you take it to those inside guys you favor those inside guys you start playing to that style and what does it do oh right it opens up the outside because the defense is going to collapse in on you now with the outside Hyde gets an open look and it was Hyde we don't have Houston anymore right or do we yes we still have Houston where's Houston playing oh Houston's my two Hyde's my three I, I know this I know this I remember McMillian starting point guard Seabrooks same minutes back up i got it i got it well anyway we have survived the first round we're still alive and here is how the bracket is looking so far so with the win over western kentucky we move on to face mississippi state that's gonna be tough also we're looking at a lot of those top teams still there and the Mississippi State Bulldogs, they think we're going to win. They have us as favorites. They have us with a favored matchup 
in three out of five positions and the bench. They lost to Kansas State, which we know is a three seed, I think, like them. Uh, but they beat Connecticut. They beat Texas Tech. They lost to Syracuse. They beat Ole Miss in overtime at home. But three and two against top 25 opponents. And most of those ranked somewhere around where we are ranked. Not a bad team. Offensively, they're good. Defensively, they're good. They are ranked in the top 10. They have a 28-5, and 13-3, similar record to what we did. And I do remember this one. Conference B, second place. Second place in Conference B. This is going to be a tough matchup. Very tough matchup. But we'll see what we can do with it. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.